Uh, maybe you're working on an S10 Blazer or pickup truck. Mine's a 98 or no, a 96, and it seems like this will work for maybe 96 to right around 2005. But I'm replacing the oil seal on the steering knuckle, and you're going to run into a problem. Um, getting it out isn't too bad. Let me show you how I did it, and then I'll show you how I put it in. So first, I've already done it. This is the old seal, and you can see that it's got this metal lip around it, and that metal lip fits right down inside of there. And so what you want to do is you want to get on the other side and you want to tap, because that metal actually extends to right there. What I used is a punch that I bought at Harbor Freight, and I just put it right here on the edge. So I'll flip it over here. If you're taking it out, it's going to be on this side. I just rested it down like this, put it right on that edge and just started tapping, bang, 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 going around in circles, popped it right out. That was easy. Then you want to get it back in. You got to put the new one in. And you're going to have a fit trying to get it in there because it's pressure fit. So if you start tapping on one end, this end's going to pop up and you sit and try to hold it. You're just going to be chasing it all the way around. You need even pressure and I'm sure that there's a tool that you can go get. Uh, it, that's not a common tool though, so here's what I did to create even pressure. I just took a razor blade, like this one right here, and all of the rubber that was on it, you can see all that rubber right there, I just shaved all that rubber off, and then I shaved it all off of there. And that way, the seal, the old seal that I took out, I just turned it upside down and placed it. So now, you actually have a kind of a makeshift press. And then I just took a piece of pine that was wide enough and long enough that I could set it on here. And I first started tapping in the middle and it got it to, to begin to seat. And then I just kept moving it around, tapping, tapping, tapping as I would move it around. Just taking the hammer and just bang, 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 bang. Looking for high spots, tap, tap, tap. And it worked perfectly. So now my new seal, is pressed into my steering knuckle and uh, you can get it done. It won't even cost you anything. You got a piece of wood. You might have to go buy yourself one of these punches. This set at Harbor Freight was maybe 10 bucks or you got something else. You know, you could use uh, maybe an extension on your socket set. You could put the end on it. Try something like that. Just don't use something sharp. Don't use, I wouldn't use a, a, a screwdriver tip that might damage the metal and you just don't want that. That's why I chose something that was a little wider because it would create more surface area on that metal and not deform it because it wants to press in there. Anyway, good luck with your fixes and uh, keep turning your wrenches and fixing your things.